Hello everyone, this video is going to talk about saving and loading both variables and text files, and not variables, but workspaces and text files into MATLAB. So if, if you want to save your entire workspace in MATLAB, you can go to, in the command window, you can go to File, Save As, uh, you know, you can save it as your MAT file, however you're going to do it. If you want to have your code automatically do it, you can just write a line like this, where you have save, uh, script output, dot mat, and it's going to save this file name with all of your workspace and the working directory. And if you want to give this a, uh, uh, you can tell it a directory other than your working directory to put it if you want. And then if you want to load that same workspace, you just use the load command, load script output dot mat, and it'll, it'll bring all your variables back in. Very simple bit of code. You can um, use it as you see fit. What I find particularly useful is text files. Let's say I want, if I have conditional statements and I'm clearing, I should go through this whole coding scheme at some point in the video, but if I'm clearing everything and I need to save some setting before I clear it all, I'll save it as a text file. So you can do something like save, uh, parentheses variable name dot text and then you're gonna so this is gonna be a file that's created this is gonna be, this is the name of the file and then this these are the settings for the text files ASCII double tabs and these seem to work so I use them as they are and then you can load the text file just load variable name um, text dot txt and the saving if there's not a variable uh, a text file that, that is named this, it'll create a text file. If there is a variable named this, it'll replace it without asking any questions. So I find it useful to use. Um, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope, hope you find it useful and have a good day.